Find another way home. Goddamn free racer. Chris Honda here. Good morning, YouTube. We are at Gears and Grind Sunday morning, and we have my good friend Steve here. We're going to do a rundown on his beautiful 2019 M4 CS. So as you can see, there's a lot of, there's a crowd out here. Uh, very great morning. And then we just want to say thank you to Benny. Uh, Benny is running our No Gap TV. This is our second episode for that channel. So we will be um, filming today and filming again with Steve, with me filming. So it's pretty crazy. Uh, an interview over the interview. So Steve, thank you so much. Um, tell us about you know your your M uh, your M4 CS man. It, I've never really gotten close to this car. Um, it's a it's a beautiful. Uh, I believe it's a an optioned version, a different uh, version from the regular M4. Uh, can you tell us uh, the differences between the M4, the regular M4, and the CS? And we'll just walk around as you let me know how it goes there. Sure, sure. So BMW has um, three different versions. They came out with the regular M4, then you get the M4 Competition, which boosts up the, the horsepower. The M4 CS was a limited run from 2017 to 2019. At least that's what I've been told. Um, boost up the horsepower to 453. Wow. Uh, it's a lightweight version, so they've taken out about 110 pounds of uh, weight, which is interesting. And some of those differences are uh, the carbon, all carbon fiber hood. That's just pushing. Which I love. Look at that. Carbon, and and the, uh, the little vent scoop does not come on the regular one, no, correct? It does. In fact, uh, that's one of the unique features about this the hood. Uh, it's got the lightweight wheels on it, copper fiber splitter. If we roll around, you notice that on the inside of the car. Oh, and the roof is carbon too. Carbon. Look carbon at that, carbon roof. roof. And then if you want to peek in, you can see they did away with the door cards. They're all carbon. Oh, uh, look at that, door straps. And door. carbon door cards, right? Yep. Did away with the center console. To oh, the okay, no center console. But it still has the AC and the radio in here. Everything else is normal. Everything else is normal, but uh, light version. So is this like a competition to the 911 GT3? Is that what their, their whole thing with the CS? No, not quite that much. I mean, okay. Probably more close to the GTS. To the GTS. Uh, the GT3 is just a, it's, it's a, it's a dynamic vehicle. Um, I love this car, but I don't think it would keep up. Oh, uh, <laughs> wow, man. That's, that's pretty crazy because this is running about, what, 450? It's running 450. Um, Turbos, right? Twin turbo. Uh, I think the biggest challenge with this car is just keeping it on the ground. Uh, it's really light in the back end, so getting traction is going to be challenging. Um, but it's track ready. Like, you can take it today and run it on the track with no issues whatsoever. Okay, and then let's flip over to the back. Is the battery relocated to the back as well? Uh, they are in all of them. They are in all of them. Yeah, so that's located in the trunk on the right side. Um, BMW has been doing that for some time now. So all these differences between the two, as you can see the other one over there, the hood's not there, the carbon composite roof looks like it's both on there. You can get that on the competition uh, as an option, uh, but you can't get that on the regular M4. On the regular M4, okay. And uh, the wheels, are, are these like carbon wheels or are these just lightweight magnesium style wheels? Or? As far as I know, they're just lightweight. They're just lightweight. I don't know that they're anything super spectacular. <laughs> it looks great. I mean, like the, I had to get this on our channel because as you can see, this is the uh, different lightened, lightened version. Um, I've, I've seen one, the older version of this, um, and uh, it was at the Man of Isle, Top Gear was doing okay, it, yeah. and they, they praised it as a really good driving car. I mean... It's a blast. This is so, super fun to drive. Super fun to drive. And um, any anything done to this, Steve? Any tunes or dining stuff or no just all, all, uh, all stock? It's all stopped right now. Um, I think the next thing is to get it tuned. I'm not sure which one yet. Uh, gain another 50 horsepower on it, that'd be fantastic. Uh, and then probably do some exhaust on it, get a little more pop out. Very nice. And what, what exhaust would you go for for this car? Man, I don't know. I've been doing some research. Um, 
asking other BMW folks, I really don't know yet. I think what I'm looking for is just some sound. This has got a really nice tone to it, especially when you're running, um, you know, daily driving. Uh, but I want that burble to be a little more prominent, and I just can't get it out of it. Full titanium, are we going full titanium? titanium. <laughs> Very nice. Yes, yeah. Oh my God, that's awesome, man. Hey, now can we do a, a hood, um, can you pop the hood again if, if you don't mind? Just to go through what we have here. Uh, what is the engine code on this? Do you know by any chance? Uh, this is an uh, F80, if I'm not mistaken, it's F82. It could be F83, I'm really not good at that stuff. Yet. F82, okay. So definitely not the N54 of the old twin no, turbo, no, right? No. This is the, uh, the N56. N oh, okay. Right. So it's two versions over from yeah. the N54. Very nice, man. And I know the tunes on this car, you can like put it up on the monitor and everything, man. Oh, and yeah. you can see what you're doing. Probably has a G meter and all that too. It probably comes stock. Does it come with a G meter and everything in so here? It does have uh, on the inside, uh, you can pull it up on the, uh, on the iDrive. It'll have, it'll show the, um, your, your RPMs and your horsepower. Um, it's, there's an option that BMW does for the competition. Uh, that was not optioned on this, uh, but it's possible, yeah. Possible, okay. And then my last question for you, Steve. Um, so for, for beginners like us who come into dealership, you know, trying to, uh, trying to buy one of these, these things are probably hard to get right now, correct? They are uh, from the dealer, but you can, truthfully, they're online everywhere. In fact, um, a couple places, uh, swap leases, if you've heard of those, tons of guys on there trying to get out of them right now. Um, you can find them. They're hard to find at a, at a dealership. At a dealership. And what, you got any tips on, on uh, us not getting fucked by the dealership <laughs> when you go here? Because I know it's a pretty expensive car. It's, it's in, well in the six digits, right? It is. Uh, and it's, it's funny to say, try not to get fucked by the dealership. You got to learn to get fucked and, <laughs> and enjoy it. Because I think the biggest thing is, you know, you got to know what you're going into. Um, there's always room to negotiate, especially now in 2020. Uh, but. When you walk away, if you're happy with what you did, then, then it's good to go. I went into the dealership. I've been going to the same one for many years. Very I'm nice. comfortable with the guy. Um, he's always taking care of me, and I was able to get out of my other BMW into this one uh, for what I feel is a really good deal. Perfect, man. And that what dealership is that so we can make a quick shout out? So that's the dealership on Sahara. That's um, Desert, BM it's, it's Desert BMW um, Auto Nation. Uh, Perfect. Sahara and Rainbow. Sahara and Rainbow, guys. Shout out to B the BMW dealership there. Um, thank you, Steve, for letting us go through your M4 CS, man. What a beautiful car. I'm just going to do a quick whip around and just, you know, focus in on the car real quick. Excellent. And uh, I appreciate it again. Absolutely. Thank you. And uh, just to let you guys know, um, Steve's car, which is the green 914, is also on my channel, which is a, a really cool car. You guys should come see the video. Uh, very nice 914. Steve's got some nice cars, man. He's got an 82 911 SC that's coming. It's on its way. It's on its way. So we will do another video for Steve uh, when that 911 gets in, if he lets us. And Steve's really nice and cool, man. He always lets us uh, video and get his cars out on film. Just remember guys, Chris Honda coming to you live and Benny at No Gap TV. This is our second episode for No Gap TV at Chris Honda's The Rundown. And uh, we'll see you and don't, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell.